Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, service locator design pattern uh, implementation. Uh, I will show you the sample code uh, in Eclipse. Also, I will show uh, class diagram and sequence diagram of uh, that sample code. And uh, before watch this video, please log into my channel and watch uh, service locator design pattern introduction video tutorial and uh, service locator design pattern class diagram and sequence diagram video tutorial uh, where I have explained. Uh, what is service locator design pattern? What is the use of service locator design pattern, uh, etc. So first watch that video, then come and watch this video so that you will understand uh, this tutorial very clearly. Okay, now we will see the class diagram of uh, sample code which I am going to show. Okay. So right side uh, you can see a service interface. Uh, it has uh, two methods: execute and uh, get name method. And uh, this service interface is implemented by uh, two service of uh, service classes. Uh, first one is uh, JMS service. Uh, the next one is EJB service. Uh, so this JMS service and uh, EJB service uh, implement this uh, service interface and uh, provide implementation of execute and get name method. Okay. And uh, left side uh, you can see hash. So this hash is used to maintain the service object uh, locally. So it has uh, two methods. Uh, one is uh, get service. Uh, if you pass the service name, uh, based on the service name, it will uh, return the service object. And uh, it has uh, another method called add service. So if you pass uh, a new service uh, object to this uh, method, it will add that uh, service object in the hash. Okay. And uh, down you can see initial context. It has uh, lookup method. So based on the JNDA name uh, you passed, uh, it will do the lookup of uh, service object in the JNDA registry service and uh, it will return that uh, service object to the service locator. <coughs> and uh, next important class is uh, service locator and it has uh, get service name. Uh, so this method you have to pass JNDA name. Uh, so this method uh, what we have to write is uh, uh, like uh, based on the JNDA name, uh, this method will first check uh, the service object is available in the hash by calling the get service uh, method. If uh, the service object is available in the hash, then uh, this method will return service object to the client. If uh, service object is not available in the local hash, then it will uh, call the lookup method of uh, initial context object. So what this lookup method does is uh, it will do the lookup in the JND registry service. It will make the remote call basically and uh, uh, it will make call to the JND registry uh, service remotely and get the service object and uh, return to the service locator. <coughs> so once service locator uh, get that uh, service object, it will add it to the hash for the future use. Okay, Then it will return the service object to the client. And uh, next uh, class is client, it has a main method. Uh, we will see uh, the uh, code of uh, this one. Okay, I will open the Eclipse. <coughs> so, these are the main uh, Java classes which are involved in service locator uh, design pattern. So, first we will see a uh, service interface, JMS service uh, class, and uh, EJB service. So service interface has two method uh, execute and get name and EJB service class and uh, JMS service class. So both implemented uh, service interface you can see and it provide implementation of execute and get name. So execute uh, we are just printing executing EJB service in case of uh, EJB service class and get name returns EJB service uh, string like uh, same like uh, JMS service uh, we are uh, just printing executing JMS service in execute method and get name return uh, JMS service string and next one is uh, hash right. So we'll open the hash dot Java. So it has uh, two method. One is uh, get service method. Another one is add service. 
so based on the service name passed uh, it will uh, check in the hash uh, that service object is available or not if it is there it will return the service object back to the caller like that uh, if you I like that uh, add service method is there if you pass the new service object uh, it will add the service object in the hash and uh, it will maintain it uh, basically this method will add the service object in the hash and uh, that service object will be used uh, for future and uh, we have list to maintain that uh, service object so you can see here okay and uh, next class is initial context so you'll open initial context.java so it has lookup method uh, based on the JND name you passed it will return the uh, service object so in, if we pass EJB service uh, then it will do the uh, lookup of EJB service object and it will return this is a sample code uh, so I didn't put uh, JND lookup code uh, I just returning uh, new EJB service object object okay uh, in case of uh, real implementation we have to do uh, jnd lookup uh, to the uh, remote server so like that uh, here uh, if we pass uh, jms service then it will return the jms service object then uh, next class is uh, service locator we will open uh, service locator dot java class so it has uh, get service method and uh, based on the service name or JND name passed first it will check in the hash uh, that service object is available or not if it is uh, available then uh, it will uh, take from the hash and uh, return to the caller and if uh, service object is not available in the uh, hash uh, then it will do the remote lookup uh, using the initial context object okay so here we are doing a remote lookup using the JND name and uh, so once we get the service object after uh, remote lookup we are adding to the hash for the feature use okay uh, and next class is uh, client.java uh, usually uh, for service locator client will be the business uh, delegate uh, delegate uh, class okay um, so here what we are doing is uh, we are just calling service locator get service method by passing the service name then uh, we are executing the service object okay so we will see uh, output of this one i will just execute that one so okay so here you can see the output looking up at creating a new service object executing EJB service so uh, first what we are doing is service locator dot get service we are passing EJB service so what this method does is first it will check in the hash so hash uh, the EJB service object is not there so next what we are doing is we are doing initial uh, uh, using initial context uh, object we are doing the lookup right so you can see looking up of creating a new EJB service object that we are printing in uh, lookup method here we are printing right so that is that is the first line printed in the console and uh, so once we get the service object we are adding that in the hash for the future use okay then returning the service object so client will get the service object here right then we are calling the execute uh, method of that service object so execute method what we are doing is we are execute method of uh, EJB service right we are uh, we passed EJB service uh, as its service name so it is uh, just printing the executing uh, EJB service so that is what uh, printed here okay this is the first time uh, calling right and second uh, what we are doing is uh, we are doing the same thing using the jms service uh, this time also it will uh, it will uh, first it will check in the this method will check in the hash in the hash uh, it won't be there because uh, we are calling the first time 
then uh, we are doing initial con using the initial context uh, we are doing the lookup of that uh, jms service object and once we get that one we are adding in the hash for the future use so here you can see uh, looking up uh, and creating the new uh, jms service object and executing the jms service that we are uh, executing here right so this is the first uh, first two times okay next time uh, when we make call like uh, service located or get service ejb service right this is second time we are making call to this service locator uh, object right so this time uh, the in the hash the ejb service object will be available because uh, the first two times uh, we uh, we passed first time uh, ejb service and second time uh, jms service and once we get that object we have added uh, that object in the hash right so it will be available in the hash that uh, ejb service object and jms service object so this time uh, this service won't be null so from the hash it will get that service object and return so that you can see the output here return hashed ejb service object right then we are executing the uh, ejb service object execute uh, method same like after that uh, we are making call to the jms uh, service object so here also we can see it is written from the hash so only for first two times uh, it does the remote lookup and after that uh, that object ejb service object and jms service object has written from the hash okay so once uh, what why we are using hash is uh, to improve the performance right the remote uh, lookup call is a costly operation so we can avoid uh, this remote uh, lookup call by using the hash and uh, so this is the output of uh, service locator uh, design pattern sample code uh, okay so i have put all my uh, this sample code the service locator related sample code in uh, my blog called ramjt.blackspot.in so so if you want to get a sample code of uh, the service locator design button uh, please uh, log into my uh, blog and uh, get the sample code okay and uh, this is about uh, service locator design button uh, implementation and thanks for watching bye